uh, let's say that there's some big crisis, some environmental crisis or political crisis that could lead to major war or another 9-11 has just happened and we're badly shaken up. Now, let's say that I have taken it upon myself to become something of an activist to do something about this. And I find at first that I'm unable to actually influence people in getting their attention and trying to bring their attention to the fact that we are in a crisis. But then I start to harangue crowds and play on people's fears and their sense of personal responsibility and um, their... Uh, their sense of guilt in terms of their own um, negligence, which has allowed this crisis to creep up on us. And in the course of my doing this, I notice that this is actually having an effect. This is actually uh, getting people uh, to think about these issues, and it's motivating them. I'm actually getting people's attention by appealing to their consciences, by appealing to their fears by appealing to their um, negative motivations in you know in, in their in their own minds I'm getting somewhere with this <clears throat> I might actually be able to get people now to um, to do something about this crisis now what are the dangers of taking that kind of an approach the infliction of negative value states on other people to bring about uh, a positive response from them overall. Uh, you, I'm not really asking what are the pratfalls for the people whom I'm influencing. What are the dangers, what are the risks to me as the person who is actually uh, employing these tools guilt and fear and that kind of thing. Do I stand to be uh, corrupted by them? I would say yes, I most certainly do. I would say that I'm in danger of becoming a priest. Um, and just because we've gotten rid of God doesn't mean that we're through with the priest. I think he's always going to be with us, or she, <laughs> um, <clears throat> and what I would like to ask is, why, if you agree, why is my ability uh, to influence people using guilt and fear a danger to me? Could it be that I find myself enjoying my ability to scare people or to make people feel very badly about themselves. Actually enjoy it. Enjoy that feeling. My ability to do that, to wag my tongue a bit and suddenly the chocolate bar they're eating doesn't taste so good anymore. Or to wag my finger and suddenly they tremble a bit. Is there a danger that I'll start to enjoy that? And if so, what is it about that that I enjoy? And why?